Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My smart and intelligent children, how are you? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and keep you healthy, happy, full of strong iman. And the, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the ability to do a lot of good deeds. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Okay, let me say the dua first and then we are going to start our story. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, we are Sirli Amri, Wahlu Lakhudat Millisani, Yafahu Qawli, Rabbana Zidna Ilma, Ameen. Okay, my dear children, last time I told you about the girls and uh, the father of the girls. So some of the scholars say that that was Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salam. And Prophet Musa alayhi salam married the daughter of Shu'aib alayhi salam. And that place was called Madian. Wallahu alam, uh, we don't know for sure. But anyways, uh, that was the house of the Muslims. So he got married to one of the girls. So after his marriage, he stayed in Madian for almost 10 years. And then he thought of coming back to his own family. So he took his wife and started the journey. On the way back, the night was too dark and it was too cold. And he thought that he has lost his way. So he looked around and saw a fire at a little distance. So he said to his wife that you stay here and I'm just going to go and grab some fire or there might be someone who can guide me to the right way. So he, when he went over there, he saw that the tree had that light and that fire, but the tree was not burning. And there was a voice saying, Oh Musa, I am your Lord. I am Allah. Ooh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking to him. Subhanallah, subhanallah. So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him to, and he couldn't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was just the voice. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to throw his stick that he had in his hand on the ground. And when he did that, it turned into a snake. Yeah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, pick up this snake. And he was scared, but he picked it up and it became the stick again. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that put your hand under your armpit and then take it out and it is going to be glowing like bright light like the sun. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh Musa, these are the two great signs of your Lord. Go back to Pharaoh and his people and invite them towards your Lord, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After getting these two signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Musa salam went to Pharaoh and told him that he is the messenger of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and he has the proofs for that. Musa Islam threw his stick on the ground and it changed into a snake. The miracle frightened Pharaoh and he turned to his ministers for advice. They said that we have better magicians who can easily perform such tricks. Then Pharaoh called all the great magicians to his court so that they could do the same tricks as Musa salam did. When they were told what had to be done, they were not worried. They threw pieces of ropes on the ground and these ropes began to wiggle like snakes. That was a magic, not the real thing. Those were not real snakes. These were just uh, ropes and they hypnotized the other people. But when Prophet Musa salam cast his stick down, it turned into a real snake who ate all the ropes. The magicians immediately realized that this was not magic but a miracle. So they all went to Sajda and said, we believe in the faith of Musa salam, and they became Muslim. Now Pharaoh got really angry and he said, you must have planned it together. And I am going to give you such punishment that all the people are going to take lesson out of it. The magicians right after accepting Islam were so brave. They said, we have to die anyways. If you are going to kill us in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't even mind. So when they denied the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent punishment one by one, one after another. Uh, there was famine, like no food, no crop. Then they asked Musa alayhi salam for help and 
make dua for us so that uh, we are going to get our crops back when the crops were back they denied again then there were floods then there were locusts who ate all the crops then there was lice in their clothes in their beds everywhere lice then there were frogs everywhere in every pot there were frogs and then there was blood uh, in the rain there was blood in the water there was blood in the food there was blood and these were the signs which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was showing them that uh, they better believe or they are going to get punished but each time they would say that we are going to believe in allah and then we are going to send bani israel with you O musa just make dua to your lord so that he is going to take this punishment away and when the punishment would go away they would turn back on their heels and they would deny again so now we are going to stop over here and see what we have learned from this part of the story the first thing is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the men stronger physically so that they can take care of women and musa alayhi salam what did he do he said you sit down and i'm just gonna go and take care of the fire and finding the way he didn't say i am so tired i'm sitting down here just go and do whatever you have to do no he showed that he was the man he was not scared even though he was tired he took the responsibility of doing things which he needed to do right and look at our boys right now they are weaker and they get scared from a spider or a small insect what is this like you need to be brave outgoing taking the responsibility and the other thing that we learned is that when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked musa alayhi salam to throw his stick he did and when he asked him to pick it up he did so you know even though if we don't understand sometimes we don't understand why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us, us to do certain things but we should obey the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stay away from the things that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us to stay away we might not understand the wisdom but allah knows and we don't know so inshallah bethnillah obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be confident about it okay my dear children assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka